Hi, I'm Tech Bob, and welcome to eTech Facebook Live Fridays. Today is actually pre recorded because I'll be out of the office on the 23rd when this posts, but we wanted to cover something anyway, something that has come up as a question, and hopefully this video helps clear the air. So, the question we've gotten is what's the difference in INSA LCD, Soft OLED, and Hard OLED? That's what we're here to answer today. So, there's three main points that are different in between each of these. And I would say the best way to explain them as far as quality goes, it's a good, better, best. There's definitely a place for each of them, and I'll kind of cover that more towards the end of the video. But to start off, the three points that differentiate them, the first one is the size or the thickness of the screen. It's going to vary between each of the different technologies. You're going to have the color and you're going to have the brightness. So each of these varies slightly in between each one. So to start off, before I cover the actual looks of the screen, I'm going to cover the thickness. So I'm actually going to switch over to our overhead camera. You're going to see all of the different screens displaying on our triple display tester, but I'm going to use what we call, uh, or it's just calipers. So this first one is the Incel LCD. And this screen is always going to be the thickest because you're actually taking a screen, the iPhone 10, most newer iPhones, the default technology is soft OLED. The Incel LCD is a budget friendly option which gets you the best price to do the repair, but it doesn't have the best specs possible. So the reason why the thickness is different, when you're dealing with an LCD, it has a separate backlight to the panel. A OLED, because it's an organic light emitting diode panel, the backlight is part of the panel. So it has little individual LEDs versus a separate backlight. That's why those are gonna be thinner. So as far as thickness goes, I'm gonna try to show this as best I can on here. I have it set to millimeters. I'm gonna zero it out. I'm gonna check the thickness just so right here on the right side. So right, we're looking at about 2.58. So the range is typically 2.55 to probably 2.6. You can see that on there. So I'm gonna take that one off. Now I'm gonna to go to my hard OLED, measure in the same spot. And that's important if you're ever doing this test to have consistent results is you wanna check in the same spot. So this is the uh, hard OLED and it's measuring at two millimeters, so about 0.5 millimeters thinner. And again, I would give it about a 0 0.05 degree of variance. And then the last one is gonna be our soft OLED. Same test here, it's at about 1.89, so it's the thinnest. And the reason the soft OLED is the thinnest, it is the original technology and the panel itself it, the, the terminology soft OLED comes with it being a flexible panel. That's why it's usually the most durable when it comes to drops and impact. The hard OLED is gonna be the next one down from that because it is a rigid panel. It's more susceptible to the panel breaking instead of the experience where the phone's in your pocket or it gets stepped on and the glass looks perfectly intact, but the panel itself isn't coming on, there's no image it's most likely because the panel broke and the glass didn't. And then the LCD is gonna be the one uh, that's on the less durable side. Because it is thicker, any amount, or not any amount, but it would take less pressure to damage the LCD versus the others. And as far as pri price points go, the Incel LCD is gonna be on the lowest side, hard OLED is gonna be in the middle, and the soft OLED is gonna be on the high end. Now, speaking of the place for each of these when it comes to the repair or say you're a DIYer and you're trying to figure out which screen to buy. I would say if you're just trying to use the phone until you get your upgrade or say you're trading it in, or you know what, the having the brightest screen or the best color isn't top on the priority, Incel LCD is the way to go. It gets the job done, it works without issue, all the functionality is there, the only difference is gonna be the color and the thickness. If you look very closely on the side of the phone, unless you have calipers, you really won't be able to make out that much of a difference. But, as I mentioned, the biggest difference is going to be in the Incel LCD as far as the thickness goes. The hard OLED is if you do want the color and brightness of the soft OLED, so you wanna get closer to what the OEM screen is like, but you don't want to pay the, that full top of the line price, the hard OLED is there. The only drawback is that it is more susceptible to the panel being broken. Um, and that happens from dropping it or, or, or stepping on it pressure. It doesn't mean it's just going to crack on its own. It's some type of event will cause that. Now, um, as far as the hard OLED goes, the good thing, 
with all of our iPhone hard and soft OLED, we actually, we actually cover it with an OLED break warranty. So either if you have the screen yourself on your phone or a customer of yours brings the screen back and says, my screen just stopped turning on and you can see that the OLED panel is cracked and the glass is not. So the top layer, which is this right here, the glass that you touch is not cracked. That would actually be covered by our warranty. Uh, the only other requirement aside from the glass not being cracked is that the flex cable isn't damaged either. So as long as those two are good, uh, it's going to be covered by our OLED break warranty. And then the last one over here on my far right is the soft OLED. This is going to be the top tier screen because it is the same technology as the OEM. You're going to have the best brightness, the best color, thickness. Use case here, I would say if you do want as good as possible compared to the OEM, that's going to be the one you want to go with. There's virtually not a whole lot you can tell the difference. If you put two side by side, you'll notice a slight difference between the OEM and the aftermarket soft OLED, but uh, it's too much. It's not enough to distinguish when you're just looking at that screen, um, unless you have a, an OEM side by side with it. So that's kind of the use case for each of them. Again, we wanted to co cover each of those specs because that's a question we've gotten. We do 100% believe there's a use case for each of these screens. And these screens specifically that I'm covering today are the iPhone 10 series screen. So we have our Insta LCD, which is the 822-9396. We have the hard OLED, which is the 822-12310. And then we have the soft OLED, which is the 822-9391. So what we're going to do now to kind of wrap up the stream is I'm going to uh, hit the lights and then we're going to show the screens in the dark. It helps to show the differences in color. So give us one second while we adjust that. All right, cool. And then make sure everyone can see that. Great. So what we have here, as far as our screens go on the far left. So this screen right here, where you can see my hand, this is the Intel city in the middle. We have hard OLED and on the far right, we have soft OLED. It may be hard to distinguish on the camera. It's usually better to see it in person, but what you can tell on the far left, there's a slight hue to the screen. If you look at it at an angle, you can see it more. Uh, blacks aren't as black on the insult LCD. So you can see it a little bit on the edges of it. Let me zoom out slightly. So I'm talking about down here where like the touch icon is, you can see it's, it's not full black. It's more of a, a lighter black or almost on the gray side, but it still looks like a great screen. The colors all are good there. And then you jump over to the middle. When you start to look at the, the primary colors, like your reds are more red, the blues are more blue, greens are more green. And again, all of the screens work without issues. So right now I'm using the touch on the center screen. I'll switch over to the far left screen. And then this is the lock screen. So you can see the color differences here. You can see the yellows from, oh, let me turn that back on, the yellows from the for the Insta LCD to the hard OLED and soft OLED, it's not as yellow as the other two. And I'll unlock it. And again, I'll move the touch around. Again, no issues with functionality. And I'll switch over to the last screen, which is a soft OLED and do the same thing. And this is just a good way to kind of look at it. What we recommend doing is looking at solid colors or even a video with different backgrounds to it. This we actually have in our lobby just displaying the screens and with a label so the customer can see exactly which one is which. If you're not sure which one you want, I'd recommend trying each of them out. We, many of our customers or uh, repair shops, they'll actually offer at least two options to the customer, maybe not three, but they'll say I have a lower end and a higher end and that way the customer can make the decision. As I mentioned, there's a spot for both of them. You should have that in your shop as an option because there's a chance that a customer is going to want one or the other. And then final thing I'm going to do is jump up to the home screen, go to my wallpapers and he, this is just a white screen. Let me zoom in a little bit. I'll go ahead and close this video. You can kind of see the difference in whiteness here on the screens too. Just another good way to see the comparison. The closest to OEM is going to be the one on the far right, which is my soft OLED. The middle one right here is going to be a little bit down from that, 
because it's the hard OLED, and then the one that's going to be furthest is the INSA LCD. Um, so that's a good way to kind of see the difference. We're going to hit the lights to kind of finish up the stream. And if you have any questions regarding the differences in these screens, feel free to reach out to us. We're more than happy to answer the question. We just thought the video may help. If you did have basic questions like, what am I getting for this price versus this price? This tells you exactly that. So I hope everyone enjoyed this one. Um, again, we won't see everyone until we come back from the holidays. Next week's stream will also be pre-recorded. We don't have what it's locked down on just yet, but it'll come out soon. We hope everyone has a happy Christmas, happy holidays, and everyone stays safe. I know that the majority of the country is getting some pretty cold weather here in the next couple of days, so stay warm, enjoy your time with your families, and we appreciate every customer and everyone that's worked with us throughout the year and years. We hope everyone has a great time with their family, and we'll see everyone next week.